All right, this Caterpillar 320D excavator. Um, the problem that it has is that it do, it takes a very long time for it to start. Um, this is a common rail engine. Uh, it's a 6.4, I believe, uh, Acert Caterpillar motor. Um, and like I said, so what happens is, is when you try to start it, um, it takes a long time to start. And so you, what these guys do, they start it with ether, you know, and it fire up and it runs just fine. But as soon as you cut it off, it will not start back. Um, so on the monitor on these, you can go in and you can actually monitor your actual rail pressure versus commanded pressure. Um, and if you do need to get in the monitor on the service side, um, where you can look at live stream data, if you don't have like a way that you can actually plug into the computer, uh, your password to get into the monitor is FF2, so Frank, Frank, Frank 2. Um, and that, that'll that also work on the C models as well. Okay, so what I'm getting ready to do now, I'm going to do a, um, essentially an injector bleed off test or injector uh, fuel return test. So the way you would do that on this motor here, um, there is a, excuse me, there's a plug here for your injector circuit. You'd unplug this, and then your return line from what they refer to as just a fuel block, which is kind of hard to see here, and I apologize for that. Um, right there, oh, no, sorry. Right here, um, you know, you would have this braided fuel line here and it's a banjo bolt here caterpillar has like a special fitting that goes in here um where you can leave this connected and um you know just pull fuel off the back of it um what i've done i just took one of my regular just pressure hoses uh you can see there the black and green um just a regular parker hose um and i just screwed it in there um, crank the motor over for 30 seconds and what you're looking to see for the six cylinders here um, you're looking to see less than uh, 1.3 ounces of fuel it should be less than that uh, for 30 seconds of cranking with the injectors disabled um, the four cylinders I believe are uh, 0.8 uh, ounces for 30 seconds of cranking all right, so 30 seconds of cranking, you can see I've got about five ounces of fuel there um, that come out of the return side. What you're looking at in front of you here is Caterpillar's procedure on how to perform a injector uh, fuel return test. Um, most manufacturers are gonna pretty much be in the same, uh, the same procedures, disabling injectors, take your return flow off of one head or both heads, um, and you know, run it into a container, and then whatever uh, that manufacturer deems as a threshold value, um, you know, you judge off of that. But for this particular caterpillar here, uh, 1.3 ounces uh, for 30 seconds of cranking or less, uh, as far as fuel, uh, as far as rate goes, um, is acceptable. Anything over that, um, you know, would show that you have an injector issue. All right, so I'm just going to go through this procedure really quick. Um, if you happen to want the test kit, uh, part number is 3343221, um, and it's nothing more than a, um, and I'll show it to you real quick and I'll come back. Um, it's nothing more than just a banjo bolt with a, um, with a barb fitting on the end of it. Um, what you could do is take a banjo bolt, um, take a banjo bolt, and just drill and tap the end of it and just thread you in a barb fitting. Um, the, the banjo bolt on this Caterpillar here is a M14 by 125, if you're interested and need to know that. Um, so the test procedure is as follows. Disable your injectors by unplugging the, um, the injector harness there and then on your fuel block, which happens to be um, on the right hand side of the engine, if you're if you're on an excavator and you're looking at the engine, you know, it'd be on the right hand side, uh, on the fan side anyways. Um, just take that the return line off, take the banjo bolt out, and what you'll do is you'll put this fitting in place of the banjo bolt and you'll put the return line back on 
um, and you'll test it that way. However, I didn't do that, um, and you know, as you've seen in the video there, I didn't do that. Um, I just used you know what I had on my service truck, which was uh, one of my pressure test lines. Um, I just took the took it and screwed it in. Um, you know, because you don't have to have it super tight. Uh, my line happens to be a um, a pipe thread. Um, it's still the same thread pitch. You know, still the same thread pitch is just, you know, where mine tapers, whereas that banjo bolt is straight. So anyways, after you have everything connected, um, you'll just run your line, whatever you use, over into a container. You'll crank, to, crank it over for 30 seconds and record the amount of fuel that you got. Um, Caterpillar suggests doing it three times, and which, to be honest, is not a bad idea to, you know, to kind of um, go back and verify your findings.